Many people don't take sun damage seriously, but active skin cancer prevention is important for all of us. Let's look at what causes skin cancer. Most burns happen when you come into contact with something hot, like touching a stove or an oven. But sunburns aren't caused by heat at all. They're the result of ultraviolet or UV radiation exposure. Sunlight is part of the electromagnetic spectrum and is made up of different types of energy or radiation. It includes infrared radiation, which makes sunlight feel hot. Visible radiation, the part we see is the colours of the rainbow. And UV radiation, which can't be seen or felt. This means we can't rely on our senses to determine when we need to protect ourselves from the sun. UV radiation comes in different sizes, known as wavelengths. There's UVC, which is absorbed by the ozone layer, and then there's UVA and UVB, which both reach the Earth's surface. It's these two that can damage our skin and eyes, causing dryness, wrinkling, and premature aging of the skin, cataracts, and pterygium of the eye, tanning, as well as skin cancer. UV radiation can directly damage the DNA in our skin, and that can lead to mutations in our cells. UV can also trigger free radicals. It tells our body to release these harmful molecules, which in turn can cause further cell mutations. If the damage is not controlled or repaired and is passed on to new cells, a mass of abnormal cells can begin to accumulate over time. And this can lead to skin cancer. How does the skin react to UV damage? Skin damage activates a particular type of skin cells called melanocytes. It causes them to produce more skin darkening pigment known as melanin. Melanin acts like a shield and helps protect DNA from further damage. Your genetic makeup determines your skin type and that dictates how much melanin can be produced but most UV radiation is still able to reach our DNA and cause damage to our skin cells. At the same time, damaged cells can produce warning molecules which signal the body to have an inflammatory response. This reaction causes immune cells to attend the area that's affected to control or repair damage, which is what causes the redness we see with sunburn. Unfortunately though, not all damage can be repaired. So how do we know when to protect ourselves, especially since we can't rely on temperature or sunshine? We can use the UV index, which is a numerical scale that shows the intensity of UV radiation. The higher the UV index, the more UV radiation is present, and that means damage to our skin can occur quicker. At an index of one to two, the UV is considered low, as there are low levels of UV radiation present. We generally don't need sun protection, unless we're spending a lot of time outside. But a UV index of three and above is strong enough to damage unprotected skin. And during these periods, it's recommended you slip, slop, slap, seek and slide. Many Australians mistakenly only use protection during planned UV exposure, like when they're going to a pool or the beach. But too often, damage occurs during passive recreation, such as watching outdoor sport, gardening, or doing chores around the house. Remember, skin can be damaged when exposed to UV levels three and above, and it can happen regardless of whether you burn or tan or even if there are no visible changes to your skin. Get into the habit of checking the UV index every day and use a combination of the five sun protection measures to safeguard your skin. To find out more, go to sunsmart.org.au.